Hey guys and girls, uh, this is Gordon Overkill with another episode of uh, Fragile Frightened Freddy's Extremely Careful Early Game. Well, in the last episode, uh, Freddy uh, started his uh, first steps to, to, through his adventure and uh, and I think to, to sum up the most important lessons that he wanted to show you, that's uh, at first make excessive use of ranged weapons. That cannot tell that often enough. Uh, Freddy in the first episode he trained a whole lot with his bows, got it up to level uh, to level two, and uh, I think that in the whole first episode Freddy did not suffer a single point of damage. And that's what has always to be your aim with a fragile character in the early game. Or also with a tougher character. If you want to survive and if you die too often in the early game, try not to suffer a single point of damage. Usually in the end you will take some damage, but if you really try to follow this idea, not to get hurt at all if you can avoid it, that's the best thing you can do in order to survive. Well, another important lesson was uh, um, always use the uh, most defensive tactic, tactic if you don't need anything else. So always if you walk around, change to coward mode. Ah, what did I do? Huh? Crap, I, I pressed on, the, on that field and make an unintentional step. If you walk around coward mode, if you walk around an enemy coward mode and so on. If you uh, fight from a distance with a missile weapon, always change to berserk mode if nobody is in melee. Because that gives you a big uh, to hit and damage bonus. But uh, as soon as the enemy reaches uh, melee range, um, directly uh, go back to coward mode or a uh, rather defensive tactic. And uh, third thing to remember is always take care of these doors. They can be so deadly for an early game character with low hit points. That's why uh, Freddy never opened a door without checking it for traps. Many character classes cannot do that because they do not have the skill, but if you have it, always make excessive use of it. And if you have to open a door, ignore all those doors that you cannot open from a diagonal angle because uh, diagonal angle means you needn't be afraid of uh, stone block traps which are super super deadly. If you remember these things I think that uh, might already increase your survivability a lot. However, let us see how our hero, who is not so really hero-like, continues. Once again we've got a door here and as always we want to check if there are any traps at that door. Well, it doesn't seem so. I'll take this short sword with me. Uh, as you can see, Freddy is getting hungry again, so let us eat the other iron ration. Was being hungry greatly decreases, well, not greatly, but it significantly decreases our uh, uh, fighting skills. Here are the downstairs, that's good, we already know them. But on the fourth level of this uh, of this dungeon, it's a little spoiler, there is always another thing that we want to find and I'm gonna show it to you. Orc Scorchers, they sometimes throw spears at us that would be useful but not for a mist elf. Crude spear, yeah, these crude spears are not bad but not for a mist elf because I think they also I have uh, parts of uh, impure metal. And this is the guy I was looking for, Gerald the healer. Uh, this guy uh, should at one point teach us the healing skill. So he asked us if we, if we don't to learn from him or be healed. Uh, if we want to learn the healing skill from him right now, he says that we have to uh, fulfill the quest first. We could, uh, healed by him, uh, could be healed by him seven times completely. And that's very, very helpful also. If you get to low hit points in this dungeon, and uh, you're getting in, in danger and getting afraid, then uh, get back to Jared and let him heal you. Can you get to distance? Well, don't think so. Actually, with our protection value, we do not necessarily need to be super afraid. And uh, what's that? I almost forgot something. A square key. Keys are super because they allow you to open doors without having to uh, pick the locks or kick the door. Well, with nine points of protection in the village dungeon, you are rather safe, I guess. But still, 
that's always a small risk. Also, if I personally, if I play too quick, uh, I usually die in the early game. That happens so easy and often. So, uh, if you want to stay alive, really play over careful. Do not take any risk. Oh my god! Did you see that? An acid trap. We stepped right into an acid trap, which could be super, super dangerous, and it did 13 points of danger, uh, uh, points of damage. We're down to 8 HP, and to me, 8 HP is not enough. So I will directly return to Jared and let him heal us. Oh, oh, that's dangerous! A rattling archer, right at this dangerous moment. Luckily, we could kill him quickly because sometimes they heavily hit you. They have got a crossbow, which does very, very big damage. That's this combination of effects that sometimes just kills your character. Stepping into an acid trap, right after was a rattling archer, easily your character could be dead. A gremlin. Finish that gremlin off, come on. Come on. Yeah, nice. However, we saw that this one trap did thir uh, 13 points of damage, so I will not walk around here with less than 13 points. That's why we get back to Jared and tell would be very nice if you could heal us. He touches our forehead and we're back to full health. Excellent. Well, at least that was nice to uh, show you how this done. The fine thing is that Jared can also heal you from sicknesses, which could be extremely dangerous otherwise in the early game. So if you get sick and don't know how to get rid of it, then it might also be an idea to get back to this dungeon and ask Jared to heal you. But actually, this acid trap was the first damage that we took in this game. And honestly, that uh, could not be avoided. We did not know the trap and as soon as we found it, we were already we had already used it. Just for those who maybe not know, uh, this quick walk command that I use all the time is done by pressing the W key at first and then the direction in which you want to walk. It directly takes you to the space uh, where to the next crossing or uh, to a space where something interesting happens. It saves a lot of time. So, level 5, here we go. see what awaits us down here. I do not know why we get this itching feeling all the time. Are we maybe wearing a small item of... Maybe the brass bracers. Maybe they are out of uh, impure metal. Could be. But not enough to do damage. Oh, we're getting hungry again. So eat this loaf of bread. And now we are in another kind of danger because we are out of food. We do not have any backup food left. So we could get into starvation trouble. Which can also be a serious threat in the early game. Check this for traps. No traps to be found here. So open this door. Come on, open it. So let's hope that soon we will find some kind of rations or other food. What did we notice? Uh, there was a goblin rock throw across that just rotted away. That's sad. Would have loved to eat this. What was that? Oh, we did not forget anything. Okay, take care of these uh, claw bugs. Like I told you, they have got an armor piercing attack, which can be really, really dangerous. And another problem is that slowly but surely we're running out of arrows. I think we already do not have any bigger arrow stacks left. So I will now change to another stack, which is this stack of nine rocks. The reason is uh, the rocks do lesser damage and we have more problems hitting with them, but uh, we do not uh, need to reload so often. We can throw a couple of rocks in a row without having to uh, change the stack. Uh, 
but can we harm a fire beetle with these rocks? Yes, we can. Excellent. Is that a large cobalt? These guys are also quite tough, but oh, we're doing fine. We also had a uh, good shot and keen shot, which also surely help a lot. Help a lot. Always diagonal angle to the door. Check it for traps if you can. Just then open it. Here must be a secret door, but we will not try to open it. That would be unnecessary risk. Rather take the longer way around. It's another cobalt. Another large cobalt. What did he drop? A large cobalt corpse. Believe me, no matter how hungry a character is, you do not want to eat cobalt corpses. Oh, another danger. Floating eye. But we directly hit it. That was good. And important. Fine. Zombie. Nice. And we've directly increased our skill and thrown rocks and clubs. Fine. There are even more undead around here. A skeleton. But we were not able to hurt it. This guy. Large cobalt. There's a whole lot of large cobalts here. But he drops five rocks, that's fine. Very, very useful. Well, very likely no traps here. Therefore a bugbear. Come on, hit it. Crap. Bugbears can take quite a lot, but we finished it off anyway. So, are we done with this level? Yes, we are, but we still have got the problem that we do not, uh, we've got a rock, do not possess any food. Therefore, we already found quite a lot of gold, more than 4,000 gold pieces, which is actually very, very much. Most of it we got from killing these pixies in the last episode. So I think that uh, not taking any risk, any avoidable risk, this is a good point in time to return to the surface return to Terrinio and buy ourselves some new food. So here we go. Back up through the levels, getting hungry already. Maybe we do not we have not eaten enough to get to the surface. That's well actually it's quite likely. But I'll show you one thing that you can do in such a situation. Here we still have these pixie corpses. Well, no, they already rotted away. This guy will drop corpse, that would be nice of him. Ah, we reached level 6, very fine. At level 6 you get a special class power. Let's see which one that is. Automatically search for special features in your surroundings. Well, not too bad, I guess. Helpful, not uh, really the most uh, important thing, but we have it. So at first, let us equip, uh, uh, improve detect traps and dodge. First eight to fifty, uh, almost. Um, also want to increase pick locks a little further. Also pick pockets. Who knows? Maybe we want to pick something at one point. And we get another talent. Which talent do we want next? Quick shot allows us to shoot 10% faster. That's maybe the best of these shooting talents that we got so far. And with exclamation mark, ooh, no, we're getting into trouble. We will not get food quick enough to kill these guys first. Come on. They did not drop any food either. Here we run, and soon we will be starving. If not, maybe this bat drops us a corpse. But as you realize, I'm not yet... Ha! Ah, it does! A very nice bat. <laughs> maybe I will not show you what to do. Well, <laughs> if we reach the food store without, I will tell you. But, uh... Well <laughs> first, let's see. Could also eat these bones. They're not very satiating, but at least a little. And in such a situation, rather do that.
Come on, hit that go boat. Nice. That's already the second level of the dungeon. Now I'm quite optimistic that we can reach Terrini without uh, starving. It's quite a long way around here. Huh. If we get out there, we can also do another thing that I thought about showing you even earlier. But uh, oh, my arrow that we lost. But uh, now we definitely do not need to fear it. Ah, you throw some rocks at me, please. I will leave your life as long as you keep throwing. But uh, not longer, I'm afraid. So, kill him. That was a couple of rocks. Nice. We might also check this door out now. We've got enough trust in our skills by now that we can do it. Oh, it's actually a couple of rooms that we have not checked yet. Featuring a skeleton. Oh, <laughs> in the room far, far away on the other side. Well, at least that makes us hungry again, so maybe we will get into uh, starvation trouble. Somehow I would almost like it uh, to show you uh, what I was talking about. I will see. So, you also want to throw some rocks maybe? Yeah, he does. That's super fun. We're quite lucky with these uh, goblin rock throwers. Usually if you're into, uh, into a kind of a food trouble, you would not do that. You would rather kill him quickly and uh, try to get your food as quickly as possible. But uh, <laughs> as I told you, I'm trying to buy a little time to get into some more trouble, more or less. Come on. Already at hungry exclamation mark again. But still, this guy gives us a couple of rocks. That's nice of him. Now let's kill him. That's very cool. How many rocks do we have? Biggest stack. Oh, there's many single rocks, but there is a stack of nine rocks. Another one of nine rocks. That's super, super excellent. Okay. Therefore, we've got another cat. Which intends to get on our nerves. But we are quicker. That's very good. Still, we have to outrun the cat. Get around it. Come on, kitty. Have not yet outrun it. Also, we're getting burdened. Well, that slows us down too much. You see, we are almost starving. We do not have any food with us. So what you then do is press uh, the, the, the bottom line, uh, the shift minus. In order to pray to your god, you pray to balance and we are satiated by divine mana. That easily takes us to, to Terenio. That's a waste of early game piety. You can also use that for other good reasons, like healing or stuff like that. We do not have any other healing sources near. But uh, if you get into food trouble, uh, heal, uh, praying to your god is always your friend. If you still got enough piety, you can uh, save your life that way. So here we go. Back up to Terenio. And here we are going to solve our food problem by going down to the to the very east of the town. And this building here, this is Munksip's shop. And as you can see, there's a lot of food lying on the ground and we are going to buy some large rations. And there are large rations of different prices. This one is 66, this one is 32 and 48. The cheapest one is Cursed, the most expensive one is uh, Blessed, and I'll try to get Blessed ones, of course. 
let's see how many blessed ones he has got in his uh in his store. this one's blessed too this one's blessed sometimes you have to buy the cheaper ones if you do not have enough uh enough money but uh, since we found a lot of money down in the in the in the dungeon i just buy the the very expensive ones so pay for these four blessed large rations they should hold quite a while well and with this new food uh, food i will now show you another location which is la venilo the outlaw settlement and this settlement if you enter the settlement early in the game, you have to be damn careful. Also, even now, we have to be careful because there can be some really, really nasty enemies in here. This outlaw is not hostile and not too nasty, but uh, there could be other guys on here. Assassins, outlaw leaders, which can be very, very deadly for low-level characters. So you have to be very, very careful in here. But what you can do here is visit this shop, the Black Market. The first you can see what they have to sell here. Of course for us it's uh, very very uh, expensive. But the nice thing is if you have seen such an item once it is identified. For example now if I find a potion, um, an oily potion, I know it's a potion of troll blood because I once saw a potion of troll blood in this shop. And that's super super helpful to identify some stuff. Oh, this bandit got hostile. Let's kill it. Bandits are not that tough. He drops for us a loaf of bread. Nice. Is there anything else of interest? Scroll of power. That's also good to know how they look. A pickaxe. Super. We might want to buy that later on. If we do not find another one. Scroll of item detection is excellent. I actually think about buying that one in order to show you something else later. If we get the scroll of item detection and the pickaxe. We could do something really, really fine with it. Let's think about it, about that later. However, we could just uh, now that we are here, sell a couple of items that we don't really need, like these. All these backup weapons are not necessary. I'll check these rocks later. Maybe there are very, very good ones among them. And these both scrolls that we got from the from the. Um, from from the small cave. Yes, that's all that we don't need. We have really a lot of money. Three thousand nine hundred. How much was the big X? Three thousand eight hundred. We could buy the pickaxe if we wanted. But I try to get enough for pickaxe and score of item detection. That's what we want in the end. However, I think this is a good moment to end the second episode. Once again. Freddy has been very, 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 uh, doing very well in my eyes. He uh, avoided dying. He once got into trouble. But it was just like I told you. The biggest problem for early game fragile characters who play really careful are traps, not the enemies. You can avoid most enemies or kill them from a distance. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope it helped you a little again. See you again for the next episode. Bye, everybody.